Rover's clothes. So, so interesting because all of Rover's clothes. Wait, no, don't war Rob up for him. Because I, when I, I fight Castrum, I fight the loser in this, right? <laughs> so if Rahul goes Rob and wins and Castrum's warmed up against Rob, I don't know. Oh man, there's actually so many Robs today, and by that I mean two? That's a really weird Which is a large That's number. That's a lot of Robs. Um, yeah, and like we can just pretend like Ali's here. We've definitely had three Robs before, and we've almost had three Robs in top eight before. Yeah, what about for Rob Saga? Rob Saga, we had two Robs in top eight because it was me and Alan. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, because Ali and Rahul both didn't tell me. Oh. Yeah, but actually, Rahul makes this matchup look not that bad. And like, the, the way Crestry plays on limit, he's holding back, he's like playing this full screen game, and then that's when Rob really wants to play. Yeah. It's like, I don't really know how to judge when, whenever Castry and matches are happening, because 90% of the time I see him losing and win. So like, every single time I see a percent, I'm like, okay, Castry is like the person who like, he likes to do it for every single stock he does, is take it at like 3%. Oh my goodness. He's very much about like getting all of his bullshit in really quickly, as opposed to Rick most people. Rick wants to try the hot sauce. He has milk on him already. Ready for it. Who is this? Uh, Rick. Rick. Okay. Rick. <laughs> yeah. So um, he's yeah. yeah once he's gotten limited, he's totally changed his play style to not be at Rob's like ideal range anymore. He's, he, yeah, he's actually like the opposite of Leo. Really, on the always winning, they lose this. <laughs> yeah. So. Right now, um, if it was me playing against Cloud, I would like imagine that I'm actually at like negative thirteen percent because I usually think I'm at about eighty uh percent -oh. to start the game off. So like Rahul's in a really stream. good spot, but he is in kill percent from like limit cross dash off stage and how right. easy it is to hit Rob with it. He should actually probably be scared. He might be. Oh, but oh, he okay. You got he burned limit. This is yeah, very good. good. Like this is like the optimal burn. situation. Yeah, is he? Do you know if he is in percent for the B boot? Probably not, because Cloud's at one hundred and twenty and Rahul's at 67, that's like a way too much total percent. Okay. But also sometimes it just works and it, I don't know. Okay, yeah. Like, it's very badly designed kill convert window. Like, yeah, especially against Cloud, because he gets limited, now he's like slowly back in the window for some reason. Yeah, I really see, weird. I think Rahul is like, okay, it's not up throw and down throw probably won't work, so he might as well not go for it because he's afraid Ooh, of getting Oh my like, goodness, that was definitely it. an accident right there. It was really well for Kester, though. I don't know if that was an accident. I like the throw it up. Because yeah, that's going to do it because yeah, the platform's Cloud. there. I feel he like was Rob is so tall that every time he also imagine he really should just like shut up there. <laughs> He's so tall. Rob, we really should just hit him when he gets hit off the top. Yeah, actually he's the worst shape. There's so many things wrong with Rob. Yeah, like the main, I think the main problem is the fact that he sticks his arms out default, right? Like most characters <laughs> put their arms on the side, so when they do a move it extends their range. But Rob's arms are already out, That's right? So when he just actually. like wiggles his body a little bit, he's not really getting much range out of that. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, he's always like in the worst position. Yeah, so. it's like oh very. Oh my goodness, is he dead? Oh yeah, he's already dead. What a gyro! What yeah, a that's gyro that, that's, that's really good. Um, gimping on Rahul or not oh, yeah. whatever. Rahul killed yeah, him, a and really that's good, good guard. for Rahul. Not good for Castro. Yes, I, losing the game is pretty bad. Yeah. Like I'm gonna have an inherent bias towards Rahul because he bought me dinner yesterday and Castro didn't. Ooh. So, um, but also Rahul is playing Rob. So. And Rahul's staying, Rob? I, I, I mean, I, I, I would. It worked out pretty well for Also, him. because Rahul likes to play Mewtwo, or he likes to go Bowser. Really? I don't know if I've seen Rahul's Bowser. I have. He used to do Bowser DK teams with Isaac. Ooh. Way, that's like, his, you know, if it's with Isaac, that that's like way back. Way long ago. Yeah, uh, but I actually think he might have gone Bowser in this matchup at the moment. Maybe. Um, what, I, what I'm believing in my head is that what he what he's doing is he actually heard me and now he's trying to uncondition Castream from playing against Trump. Smart idea. Yeah, Thinking yeah. Rahul, me and Rahul are making the power plays. Like we're we're, we're doing some. Um, Got to get too many Rob, as many Robs in top three as possible, well, which is going to be go three because Paul is playing Rob. <laughs> Um, so we got Bowser, and we got, um, Cloud, and, uh, they're, they're not hitting each other yet, but occasionally, oh, there's one person hit someone, that's like a, that's a big play, like, so when you hit someone, they take damage, and in this game, if you dealt damage, you're usually gaining a lead of some kind, or coming back from a deficit of some kind, very rarely are you not, because, um, you're, you're putting percent on them, and 
and then now when you get grab, grabs go through shields. It's a little known fact, only the most advanced players know. Because that's how you beat shields in this game. A lot of people think you can do like fully charged smash attacks, and that's, that's not a bad thing. But usually just bad. Oh, and um, that grab actually confirmed into a kill. Because Bowser's up throw, like, if you spun someone around on Bowser's back, it'd probably really hurt. They probably wouldn't go anywhere, because they just get, like, grinded up, so they kind of just go a little bit high up. And then Bowser can just, like, hit them with his giant horns on his head, and those probably hurt a lot, too. How did he not get hit there? Rob would have gotten hit. How is that? That's not fair. And... <laughs> um... I'm glad. Uh... Yeah, so, um... Oh, he, he, he dodged the move, um, because when you have a neutral getup, you have invincibility. Um, neutral getup's my favorite getup option, because it has only two frames of lag, and when you're playing a character that doesn't have landing options, you don't want to do jump, which also only has two frames of lag, technically. And then roll is really laggy, and getup attack's really laggy, so I'm left with only neutral getup. Uh, so that's why I approve neutral getup. A lot of people say Bowser's neutral getup is, like, the second slowest in the game, which is like way slower than everyone else besides the Mew and Pelican, and they're wrong. It's one frame slower than the average character, and it's tied with Rob, with being one frame slower than the average character. So, um, don't, don't spread lies. Bowser has, I think it's 31 frames on, as opposed to 30, and like two characters have 28 in an IP Pac-Man, but I'm not sure. Uh, so, um, Bowser is in the deficit, but he's also Bowser, and like that, oh, that's interesting. He tried to do the air dodge read, and then he hit, it took him for him to start forward smash from, oh, he's dead. He's dead. That's what happened. Limit cross slash is a good move. It kills you, and you don't die while you're using it, so it, no, it's a net pop. Well, it, kill, it kills the other person if you're using it. Um, so that's a, that's one one. What? I'm really debating if I want to see it. I've never done it before. Uh, serious up to you. Um, what am I looking? Oh, I was going to look at the Twitch chat. Paul is in the chat. Derek's in the chat. Hi, Derek. Um, I'm assuming the match has started, so no, it hasn't. Um, there's... They're going to Final Destination. Um, it's mandatory in the last game set of, game of your set to go to Final Destination, as it is the Final Destination of your set. Um, that's not true. Don't listen to me. I was lying. Uh, yeah, so Bowser did a dash attack, and Cloud flew up, right? And then Cloud did a down air, and Bowser shielded. Now, shields are circles. I learned this. I tried to make shielding look a really cool animation in the game I made. And we swapped it out for circles, because people can see circles and identify that as shielding because of Smash Bros. So Smash Bros started an icon that a circle or bubble around you means shielding. And I think that's why people don't like PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, because that you, when you do when you shield in that game, you flash into a pose, which is really weird. Um, because the circle is just like, oh, this is, this is my shield, right? And you just don't question how anyone generates that circle. Um, I like to imagine they have, like, a button on their, like, belt, and they just click it, and the circle comes up, and it's, like, spiky, and, like, slippy, and all of them. You know, like, how Slippy made the invisibility device, and there was, like, that independent melee. Oh, he's not dead, but he did waste limit, so that's good for Rahul and bad for Castro. Ooh, Castro got a normal cross slash. MK Leo, the best cloud in the world, said cross slash is the cloud's best move normally. So, I'm not one to say MKLeo is wrong, so that must be the best move. So, Bowser did the up throw into up air, and it hurts. And it hurt enough that Cloud was like, I'm going to wash off the percentage from me, and I now have one fewer stops. One, yeah. Um, and then, now, um, Rahul's at a pretty big advantage. Uh, he... Until he dies, he's like re really scary. Like, trust me, you don't want to fight an officer like in this situation. Um, cause like his moves kill like really early, and other and Cloud's moves also kill like really early. But Bowser's are like a lot earlier, and like if he hits him and doesn't kill him, like up throw up air is gonna kill really soon. That this is not gonna work. But now it's gonna kill. So Castream can't get grabbed once, and also has to throw out slower kill moves. 
or enough really fast moves that it kills. That's really hard to do. Um, but he's in a bad spot, so if there's a like, time to kill him, it's now. Um, also, because he wants to win the game, and if he loses the game, if he dies now, he can't kill him. And when you die, you lose the game. Unless you have a stock. Ooh, kind of pulled the trigger a little early there. So now he has to gain limit again. Oh, he definitely killed him. I guess, like, removing limit kind of, like, brought in... It's like a chip off your shoulder. It really frees up your mind to be like, I can just down smash randomly and kill. And it works, because people were human. Humans make mistakes. And when you make a mistake, sometimes you die for it. And sometimes that mistake was getting hit by one down smash. And also, uh, subsequently, like, 20 nares, 3 back airs of a jab combo, 1 limit cross slash, and before to rack up all that percent. Um, so right now it's like, it, not even-ish, but like, definitely not... Rahul's not gonna be killing anymore, because he doesn't have range. But he also only needs like, 2 more moves to kill. And Castream is probably like, fiending for some kind of edge guard. Oh no! Castream just like, messed that up. And that's pretty bad for him. Oh, Rahul goes for it all. And I don't blame him. Because when you can Gimp Cloud, it's really good. But Cloud's hard to Gimp. Not because his recovery is that hard to... It goes that far, but because his sword is just so big. If you're not a character with like a very good move to deal with that, or he's not in a good position to deal with that, it's really hard to get around that giant sword. And you're really afraid of dying, because it kills you with zero if you guys both throw down. Oh, and that's a back air. And that's going to kill. That's, that's going to end the set. Rahul takes it 2-1 over Castream on final destination of all stages, really. Um, people say grabs good on it. Um,